Dunnage pellets are used in warehouse and godowns for protection of food grain sacks from floor moisture. IS 13714 is the standard for dunnage pellets. Dunnage pellets manufactured as per the standard ensures that the rice species having comparative strength coefficient of 70 or more with respect to T taken as 100 is used. This ensures that the pellets are produced is strong enough to bear the load of the sand. Every pellet is carefully constructed as per the specified dimensions and requirements in the standard to ensure that the final pellet is of sufficient size and reliable for you. The nails used in the construction must conform to IS723 and they are placed at the specified regions on the scantlings and clinched as specified in IS1714 to enhance its strength and durability. We shall observe in today's video the entire process of construction of Danish pellet straight from sourcing of raw material and up to the finishing. Testing in lab as per the speci standard specified shall also be carried out. We shall also inform you about the procedure for certification and obtaining BIS license for Danish pellets. To understand the construction practices and test requirements as per specifications of IS 13714 for dunnage pallets, we have visited Kamlangso and the new mills private limited. The stepwise process shall be shown in details. Unloading and stacking The logs of planks or spaces permissible as per the standard are unloaded from transport vehicle and stacked in a uniform manner. Other spaces may only be used with approval of purchaser in writing. Generally, timbers of one species are used in a particular pallet. Deeping The supports and timbers of spaces required to undergo treatment with 4% boric acid. Borax solution are dipped in the solution tank having solution consisting of borax and boric acid and it's kept for 30 minutes to protect the timber from termite, borer or sap stain. Seasoning After completion of dipping process, the wood is placed for seasoning either in seasoning chamber for 4 to 5 days or natural seasoning with the help of natural sunlight and airflow. Planer In order to make the surface of timber smooth, a planer is used. The planer can be mechanized for bulk use or a manual one for a small quantity. So, the wooden planks free from defects like are sawn as per size of scantlings specified the standard either through a mechanized circular saw or hand saw. Dimension MS nails of length 150 mm and shank dia 5 mm whose conformity to IS 723 has been established on virtue of being marked with standard ISI mark or through tests carried out in BIS recognized lab are procured for use. Scantlings of face 60 mm by 60 mm and length 600 mm and 1500 mm are checked for dimension. Manufacturing Scantlings of size 600 into 60 into 60 mm are used for bottom and 1500 into 60 into 60 mm at the top of the pallet. Each scantlings are a single piece, the grain of the timber being in the direction of the longest dimension. The bottom and top scantlings are equally spaced. The top scantlings are nailed to the bottom scantlings to form a rectangular rigid pallet. There are two nails at all ad joints and one nail at all other joints. They should generally be placed at a distance of about 25 to 30 mm from either of the edges. In all 28 nails should be used for the fabrication of one pallet and hammered without causing splitting of the scantlings. The nails are driven 3 mm inside wood so that their heads are not protruding on the surface.
Each nail is cleansed not less than 25 mm and flushed with the bottom surface of scantlings. Testing The dunnage pallets should have length 1500 mm, width 600 mm with a tolerance of approximately 5 mm on each dimension. The length of clinch of the nails are measured to verify that it is more than 25 mm. The distance of the nails from the edges are also verified to ensure that they are at a distance of 25 mm to 30 mm. The moisture content in the timber is verified using a moisture meter to ensure that the moisture does not exceed 18%. Absence of defects like knots, center hearts, insect attack, etc. is also verified. We shall discuss on how a manufacturer for damage pellet or any other product can apply for BIS certification license. There are two processes in which a manufacturer can apply for a BIS license. The first is the normal procedure and the second is the simplified procedure. In the normal procedure, an applicant has to submit an application. Once the application is submitted, BIS will be conducting preliminary inspection. During the inspection, sample will be drawn for testing. Once the sample passes, a license is granted to the applicant. Now, in the simplified procedure, the manufacturer will have to get his sample tested from a BIS recognized lab and he has submits an application along with the test report. And once uh, the application is submitted, BIS will be conducting a verification visit. During the visit, sample will also be drawn. Now, once a satisfactory verification visit is carried out, the application shall be processed for license grant. The entire process of a manufacturer submitting an application, BIS conducting inspection, the process of granting license to an application and the operation of a license later on is all monitored through online portal which is called the eBIS portal. Now the first and foremost thing before a manufacturer submits an application is to get himself registered on our eBIS portal. To do so, a manufacturer will have to open his, the browser on his device and type www.manaconline.in and it will take him to, his, to our eBIS homepage which would look like this one. Once you are in the eBIS homepage, click on the Confirmity Assessment, Manak Online. Once you click on it, you'll, have, you'll find the login button at the top right corner. Click on the login button. It will then take you to this login page. Then click on Create Account. Once you click on it, you'll be taken to the registration page where you'll have to fill in details of your email ID, your password and other details. Once you are done filing up, kindly click on the Submit button. Once you submit your registration, a verification link will be sent to the email ID. You will need to open your email ID and then open the link. Once you click on the link, it will take you to this login page. Now you'll have to fill the email ID details, the password that you have created and click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, this is how your dashboard will look like. Now since you wish to apply a license for a product, you'll have to click on product certification. Then click on apply for a new license. Once you click on it, you will be prompted to fill in details pertaining to your factory, then details regarding management, then the technical management details, and details regarding to the product. Now in this case, since you wish to apply for a tonnage palette, it will be IS13714. You will also need to upload details of the machinery facilities in the factory, then the test equipment facilities in the laboratory, and also details of the production capacity of the factory, and after which you will need to accept certain undertakings. Once you accept all those undertakings, you will need to click on the submit button. Then be taken to the self-evaluation come verification report page, where you will be asked to submit details as shown in the slide. Once you click on those documents, you will then be taken to the next page to upload certain documents relevant to your application and then the product. Once you upload all those documents, you will have to click on save and continue. Once you do so, you will be taken to the fee payment page where you will have to make the payments as shown in the slide. Once you make the payment, 
a few receipt will be generated and along with it an application number will be created successfully at the concerned branch office for further scrutiny and processing of the application. For this product, applicant have the option to apply as per simplified procedure only. An applicant needs to generate a QR code and a test request on their own through the portal. For Dunnage pellets, three test requests must be generated, first for the nails, secondly for the product that is the Dunnage pellet, and thirdly for the timber for species identification. Firstly, to generate the QR code, an applicant will find the generate QR code once you log in to the portal. Click on view and it will take you to the QR page. Select QR code accordingly for each test request. Once QR code is printed successfully, go to the home page at the top left corner. Next, to generate a test request, click on the test samples as shown in the screen. You will find a similar page where details of the product needs to be filled. Once details are completed, select the lab by clicking on Check Lab Availability and select the lab accordingly. Next, it will ask you to enter the QR code generated earlier. Once the QR code is entered, the test request will be generated successfully at the laboratory's end. Dispatch the sample to the selected lab for testing. Once the test report is received from the lab, go to the portal for application of BIS license along with the test report. I am Amarinder Narayan, GM Factory of Kamalan Soy and Wheels Private Limited. Our product is Austin. I am here to say few words about BIS standards and license. As we all know, BIS standards for Bureau of Standards tends provide a certification for product. Once this certification is obtained, it gives an impression that the qualities of product are entirely assured. The BI certified products have high requirement in market as it passes all the inspections and imparts authenticity. This is a benefit for any companies and customers. I am proud to say that our company as a BI license has maintained all the standards and provide a quality product and have a great demand in market. A common customer is not expected to be aware about the test methods and procedures required for verifications of quality parameters in a particular product. But at the same time, he wants the product he purchased should be fit for the purpose he intended to use and expects the product to be durable and long-lasting. The only way by which it can be ensured is to get it certified by a third party like BIS, who has the competency to test and certify the product. The manufacturers certified by BIS are permitted to use ISI mark and the consumers procuring the same are assured of quality products. The consumer should verify the availability of 7 or a 10 digit license number and the IS number like 13714 in this case on the product before making the purchase. Customers procuring ISI mark products with a bill can also complain to BIS in case of any quality related issues in order to resolve their grievances if any. Finally, we have come to the conclusion of how the Dunnage palette is produced. To apply for license, kindly visit www.manaconline.in. To get more information about BIS, please visit the website www.bis.gov.in. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube.